Welcome scientists, technologists, engineers, artists, and mathematicians to online STEAM learning with Mrs. Cooper. I'm so glad you decided to join me in the STEAM room to discuss today's question. What is pigment? Pigment may sound like a strange combination between pigs and cement, but I promise you, true pigment has nothing to do with either of those objects. Pigment is a colored material that is completely or nearly insoluble in water. Pigment is often mixed with a binder to create a suspension used for adding color to surfaces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a lot of science vocabulary. Let's look closer. There is a difference between a solution and a suspension. A solution is a mixture where one substance, a solute, is dissolved in another, a solvent. A suspension is also a mixture. But in a suspension, there are particles of a solid that may not dissolve in a liquid, meaning they are insoluble. So, where on earth does pigment come from? Pigment, a brief history. Early man used pigments on cave walls such as yellow ochre, red ochre, and white chalk. Ochres are colored clays that are found as soft deposits within the earth. Carbon black was also used, collected from the soot of burning animal fats. Probably the best known early paintings can be seen at Lascaux in France. Pigments were produced on a larger scale by the Chinese. Earth colors were cleaned and washed, increasing their strength and purity. And new pigments appeared from minerals such as cinnabar, prized as the first known bright red. The Egyptians also produced pigments on a large scale. Egyptian blue, a blue glass made from sand and copper, which was ground into a powder, was first produced around 3000 BC. Vegetable dyes were also developed by the Egyptians. So, what art products contain pigment in our very own classroom? Watercolor paints, crayons, colored pencils, and oil pastels all include pigment. However, the pigment found in these modern tools were made by people and not found um, in the earth, like early man, the Egyptians, and the Chinese did. Now, let's look at one of my favorite companies, Crayola, and see how they include pigments in the making of crayons. This Crayola factory produces 13 and a half million crayons a day. They make three billion crayons a year. Each crayon starts as paraffin wax and color pigment. Roughly 100,000 pounds of wax are used each day. One hundred and twenty colors are made at this facility. They turn out two thousand boxes an hour. The factory also produces markers, paint sets, and silly putty. Wow! I love watching those factories use pigment 
and wax to create their crayons. So interesting. Let's review what we've learned so far. Pigments are colorful, natural, and man-made materials mixed with a binder, which creates a suspension mixture. The suspension is cooled or pressed to create art supplies like crayons, colored pencils, and oil pastels. Friends, I'm so glad that you decided to join me today in the STEAM classroom to discuss today's question, what is pigment? I can't wait to see you back next time. Until then, have a great day, scientists, technicians, engineers, artists, and mathematicians of mine.